So this is Brian back for Fearless Fundamentals. I'm still out here in uh, Boise at uh, my sister's place, having a good time. I'm doing a second video for you today and this video really can kind of go with the last video I did last Sunday, which was really about purpose. You know, getting this sense of what do you want your life to be about on an expressive level, not on a trying to get level and uh, not trying to get from women, like oh, look at me, look how cool I am, but from what do you want to express that's fun for you? hanging out with the guys, going out and having a life, you know, building a life separate from women and then inviting them into that life. This video can go along with that because in this video, we're going to talk about the power of decision. And decision is one of the most powerful things you can do. The ability to make decisions and choices are so huge. I want you to think about uh, Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, one of the most successful personal growth books of all time. He interviewed about 500 of the world's most successful men and women of his time in the early 1900s, mid, early to mid 1900s. And he discovered certain qualities that each one of them had that made them so powerful uh, in life, why they were so successful. And one of them was the power of decision, the power to make a choice one, at the top of the list of important skills. And as I've looked at this skill set over the years, I've really come to appreciate it more and more. You see, decision is in the courage category of emotions. Apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride, those are the lower emotions. Then we get into the upper emotions. And courage, decision, choice, that's all one level. The, you know, the ability to, to be at that courage level and then acceptance. So it's courage, acceptance, love, peace. And in that courage level, that's, that's the gateway into happiness. That's the gateway into peace. That's the gateway into love. That's the gateway into having a great life. You see, we have got to live a life filled with courage or at least some courage and the more courage you have in your life the more you can face your apathy and not play the victim the more courage you have in your life the more power you have the more you can bust through your grief and your fear and your doubt and your worry and even if you have fear because you have good relationship to courage you can step in there into that fear and face it and start blowing it out changing it your fear of approaching women use courage i'm going to use courage it's going to be exciting i'm going to be turned on and step right into that courage and go approach women so powerful now, in courage is decision. Courage, courage has a whole list of emotions that go with it, a sense of adventure, a sense of alertness, a sense of aliveness at this level of emotions. And um, if you look at the courage level of emotions, the ability to make a choice and the ability to make a decision are in there. You see, to really make a solid choice and to stick to it, that's the key, you've got to have some courage. Otherwise, you'll make a choice and you'll change your mind, which then defeats the purpose of making a choice. Or you'll make a decision and change your mind. And that's not what we want to do. We want to use this courage level of emotion as a gateway to acceptance, love, and peace, to be able to have a better life. So when you make a decision, you have to stick to it. There's this saying that Napoleon Hill said, the most successful men and women made decisions quickly and changed their minds slowly, if ever at all. What that means is they took the information in then made a decision, and I'm gonna go a little deeper into that, and then they didn't change their mind. So the overall picture here is I step into tension every time I make a decision, I feel the tension fully, I welcome the tension, then I have the courage to commit and follow that tension through to a level of fruition. And then that tension will cause a reaction in the environment around me. And if I stay in that tension, it causes more of a reaction, which is gonna cause more growth in my life because I run from the tension, the growth stops, and then as that tension causes more growth, it causes more vulnerability. And as I get turned on for the vulnerability, the ability to feel my emotions, which then allows for turn on and embarrassment. And as I start to own those emotions, I start to get more growth, more, more, more and more growth. And I start to change as a person. I start to become more emotionally expressive. I have more emotional embodiment. So following through on decisions is essential for this. If you made no decisions, you would just sit here and atrophy and die. You would just, you wouldn't do anything with your life. Think about people that don't make decisions or they resist making decisions. They have the worst lives. Think about homeless people. I don't know. I don't know if I want a job. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. And then what happens is their life gets smaller and smaller and smaller and closes in around them. And then they're forced to make decisions out of reactiveness, not proactive decisions that grow their life, but reactive decisions to go get money to eat. The decision to go dig in a trash can to go find food, the decision to, to go out and beg that day and to just barely enough to get by, to have barely enough to get by. And that's ultimately a decision, a reactive decision or a choice that was made internally, but still a decision. Because if you make no decisions, you'll just sit here and atrophy and die. So your life is built 
around the quality of your decisions and the decisions you make. And that's really important when you think about it. Now, I'm gonna say something. This is really important. I've thought about this a lot. Saying no is probably just as, if not more important than saying yes. I think they're equally important. And you're gonna say no a lot more than you're gonna say yes. You're gonna say no to a lot of things, guys. That's why you gotta stop being a nice guy. You gotta start saying no to people and make the decision and the choice to make the decision to say no and then stick to it. Why is this so important? Because if you say yes to everything and everybody, you're never gonna have any time to go after the life you want to build that passion, which I talked about in the last video. You're never gonna have the, light, the time to build that dream, to become who you are meant to be. So you gotta say no to all these things that don't grow or serve you or serve other people in a way that you want to serve other people, because I think it's important to serve other people. And you gotta say yes to the right things. So what I do in my decision-making process is I take in all the information. I, I don't wanna be closed-minded, so I wanna take it all in but then I feel it. What does my gut want to do? Because I work on embodiment all the time. Now that I've taken all the data, read all the numbers, looked at all the statistics, what's my gut tell me? And my gut sometimes will say something that's a little different than my head. And it'll say, that doesn't feel right. Well, you know what? I've learned to trust that gut. If I'm feeling good in general, like life is good, life is happy, I'm going to listen to that gut. Now, if I'm depressed, I'm not going to listen to that gut because that gut's going to take me in the direction in the wrong direction because my overall state is depressed. But if I'm feeling good about life, and I'm like, life's good, but that doesn't feel right. I don't know, there's something pushing me away from that. I'm gonna look at that and honor that. And if I decide to say no to it, I'm gonna stick to that. I might decide to say no to it for a month or two months. I'm gonna stick to that. Like, like for example, if I've got three or four things that I really wanna do in my life, maybe one is I wanna work on uh, developing a deeper understanding of nutrition so I can get my six pack. Maybe another one is I want to learn to play guitar. Maybe another one is I want to learn a foreign language. Or maybe another one is I want to go out and um, and start dating a lot. Maybe I want to go on a, a date four or five nights a week and I'm on and I want to set up a, night every, a date every night. Do I have time to do all that? No. So what is at the top of my list? And I'll, I'll listen to my, I'll take in the information which most matches the experiences I want to have in the future and then I'll probably choose that one first, but I also listen to my gut. And then once I make that decision, I say, I'm gonna follow it through to a level of fruition. So that means for the next month, maybe, maybe the number is 30 days, maybe it's 90 days. I'll say, I'm gonna work on this for the next 90 days. This is my goal. This is where I'm gonna put with the bulk of my energy. I'll pick up one of these other ones at the end of this. Once I've got to the end of this, if I feel complete, then I can put it down and pick up something else. Maybe I can work on two of them at once because I have the time. Um, but if I'm out on a date every night, it might be a little harder, right? So this is what I'm doing. I'm literally looking at, at everything I want to do and everything everybody else is asking me to do, and I'm creating a balance between them all. If my mom is asking me to do something, I'm going to find a way to help her to the best of my ability. But if she's asking me to do something every day of the week, then I'm going to create a balance with that, right? Because I love my mom. I want to be of service. But there's a balance. You do need to set time aside for you, so you have to learn to say no to people. You have to learn to say stop so you can create that opening and then make decisions that are going to go in the direction of this purpose I talked about last week. If you've worked on your purpose, you've got a sense of what you want to develop. Maybe you're going to be making a decision to commit to something like learning to play the guitar for the next 30, 60, 90 days. And if you follow that decision through and you practice like you said you were for the most part, at the end of that, you're going to build your self-esteem. You're going to build a sense of personal power. If even the women can't distract you from that, maybe you're dating a woman and she's like, and you made the decision, you're going to commit to this. And she's like, oh, you don't need to do that tonight. We can do this instead. Or you don't need to do that tomorrow night. And you're like, no, I'm following through. And I'll see you, like, I'm going to work on it for an hour and I'll see you after that hour is over. She's going to respect you more for it. She's going to be turned on by the fact that you told her no and followed through on a commitment, but then showed up. 100% for her later, not regretting, not practicing the guitar. She's going to be like, and then you can probably play her a song, right? This, this is the balance I'm talking about. Yes, you do need to make a decision to have time for the woman you're seeing or women you're seeing or whatever you're doing and be 100% with them when you're with them. That's a decision. If I'm going to see you, I'm going to be 100% with you. If I'm working on a guitar, I'm 100% with that. And I'm going to do it at least for the period that I've decided. The guitar might be 30, 60, 90 days. Then I'll decide if I can want to continue to play it or I'll move, move on to something else. Or it'll become a, such a habit I won't have to think about it, then I can add a new habit. And that's what the power of decision does for you. It steps you into tension, 
and then it and then as you stay in that tension over time committed 100 percent, the tension seeks resolution and then it either becomes a habit a part of your subconscious mind you don't have to think about it anymore or you resolve the conflict internally and you let it go you decide this isn't for me and you move to something else but if you're always starting and making decisions and then changing your mind your life's going to go nowhere and if you have a hard time making decisions, this is even worse. If you're really slow to, and I know people like this, really slow to make decisions, then you make them and then change your mind really quickly, you really are gonna have a small life. So think about that. Where are you on this scale? Do you make decisions? Do you stick to decisions? Do you make choices? Do you have that sense of courage building in your body? Are you working on building your courage to follow through commit and make things happen. If you are, congratulations. If you're not, it's time to start doing that. So I want you to look at your purpose and I want you to review your life. Where do some decisions need to be made? And I want you to start with the no's. Where do you need to say no to create space for yourself? And if you're saying no too much, where do you need to say yes? And I want you to create a balance. What are the most important yeses? And I want you to find something you can commit to. And if you haven't even committed any of them for a week, maybe you start with a week. And if you do a week, you move, move them up to a month. And then maybe you start working towards three month commitments or two months commitment. What feels good to your gut? Take all of the information in and follow through. I want you to commit to only a few things that are most important to you creating space for them so that you don't overcommit and burn yourself out. Because I want you to become, I want you to follow through to a level of fruition or the level of commitment so you can build this sense of self-trust in yourself, which is gonna build your confidence, which is gonna build more courage, which is gonna allow you to have a more powerful next decision, and then you're gonna be able to step into it more. I want you to think about the level of the decision too. How much tension is in your decision? If your decision on a scale of one to 10, 10 being too much tension, zero being no tension, if it's a one, two, three, or four, that's great. But if you're getting up there and you're getting much higher than that, especially for a first decision, when you're first making this conscious, it might be too much. It might blow you out. It might make things a little more difficult or challenging for you. So start easy. Do decisions you can complete fairly quickly in a week, two weeks. Do decisions that you can follow through with. Don't over decide. Learn to say no to a lot of stuff. Those are decisions too. And follow through on those no's. For the next month, I'm not gonna be available for this, that, and that. I'm gonna be saying no to those things. And this is where the juice is. As you start learning to cut out all the nice guy stuff that you're just saying yes to, that you really are, don't wanna do, and you're just building resentment towards those people because you feel like you have to take care of them, and you start cutting out all these places where you have to do things. And I'm not talking about saying no to taking care of your kids. That's an obligation that you have to take care of. I'm not saying no to taking care of your bills. I'm saying you gotta take care of your basics. That's first. And that might be the first place you have to start. Then after that, all that caretaking of people and you don't have a life and, you, and you're just overdoing it because you're a nice guy and you start learning to say no to that and reclaiming your power, which is the first set of decisions. Then you start making decisions to go after the things that are part of your sense of purpose that are developing you into the man you wanna be and you start following those through to a level of commitment and you start with like two week commitments, one week, two week, three week commitments and start getting some under your belt where you completed them. I made the decision, I followed it through for two weeks and this is what, I, this is what showed up in the end of the two weeks, this is awesome. This is my goal, but this is what showed up. No matter what shows up, you celebrate it. Then you do it again, and you do it again. And every time you complete a cycle, it's not about getting to a certain level. It's about completing the cycle primarily and setting a goal for that level. Then, and you celebrate it, you're only gonna be building your confidence. You're only gonna be building your courage. You're only gonna be building your ability to make another decision, and you're gonna start to feel better about yourself. You should also be journaling a list of things you completed, cycles you completed through decisions to a level of commitment. And each time you do that and you complete it and that folder and that, that notepad starts to build with all these things you've accomplished, it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna see a whole new you. Let's say part of your decisions is to go out and socialize and make people smile more through the highs that we talk about in a lot of our videos. Or maybe it's to approach a certain amount of girls today. For the next two weeks, I'm gonna approach one girl directly a day and I'm gonna say hi to 25 people a day with my heart open as much as I can, practicing being vulnerable. And if you follow through with that at the end of two weeks, no matter what the result of it is, that's a celebration, man. And then maybe the next two weeks, you're gonna say, I'm gonna say, go direct with two girls a day and I'm gonna do 10 highs. And then that's an accomplishment. Maybe you have to say no, another decision is to say no to uh, being part of a softball team because it eats up all your, your, your weeknights as practicing. And you don't have time to do that because you want to work on this area of your life where you're learning to open your heart more, be more vulnerable, be more grounded, 
and connect to women better. You want to work on direct approaching. Maybe you want to add something in there that has nothing to do with women. Maybe you want to go out and you want to practice uh, going to the gym every night. Not, not practice, but you want to go to the gym every night and you want to start changing the way your body is. This is something I'm really into right now as I'm, doing a, I'm going to the gym on a regular basis and I found I'm finding my groove now. I've been working on my 1% so my groove is changing. I'm really loving it. I'm loving going more and more. My body's changing. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling healthier. I've really been working on my nutrition for the last few years. That's feeling better. And all these 1% are compounding. So as I make, and I've made many decisions to change things in there to make it more advanced, more uh, concise, and I follow it through. Here's a month of this. Let's see how this works. There's a month of that. Let's see how that works. So going out and going on dates is not going to get me to stop that. That is now a part of who I am and I'm committed to it actually for the rest of my life, but I'm changing it every month or so. That doesn't mean I won't create space for those dates by saying no to overdoing it. You see what I mean? So saying no to things that don't serve you, that aren't taking you in the direction of who you are, what your values are about, and who you want to be as a man are most important. And I want to say one thing to that. Your sense of purpose should lead to the core of what your values are. What is important to you? Your decisions should be leading towards helping you hit the, the, that purpose and to become who you are. What, are. what are my values? My values are freedom. To be able to travel the world as much as I can. To, to be free to uh, get up every day and work on myself and do my meditations. And, and then expression, the ability to express myself freely. So freedom and expression, and I love doing it. The honest truth is approaching women, meeting women are secondary to that. And I still love going out and expressing myself and meeting women because that's a form of expression for me, not taking. I'll say hi, flirt, joke, have a good time, laugh, smile. And if they respond, great. If they don't, the next girl will. I'm not worried about it. I've let that go because I just love being me. My whole goal is to be more and more authentic and grounded version of me every day, more and more expressing, more and more free to express myself the way I want to say what I want to say, to be honest with you guys, to be honest with the women and to draw in women that match that reality, not to get every girl. I want to get a girl that really matches who I am. I'd love to date a carnivore. You know, that would be amazing to date another carnivore chick uh, or an a animal-based uh, diet uh, woman, a chick. <laughs> and, uh, and chick's fine. Woman, beautiful woman, lady. I, you know, these are things I, I want to do. I also want to date a woman that's very giving, that really likes to provide value, because I like to provide a lot of value. So I want that in return, right? And that's pretty much what I'm drawing. I'm drawing really amazing, giving women these days. And, um, and so just kind of let that marinate. I know I've said a lot, so kind of let it marinate. Where are your decisions today? How do you need to change your decision-making process and start to do it? Learn to say no to all the things that aren't serving you, that are all, you're only saying out of, re, out of being a nice guy, which is only building resentment. Learn to say yes to things that serve you and taking the direction that you wanna take your life. Definitely say yes to some things that are giving that are truly nurturing your soul in a giving way, maybe being there for your mother, helping your sister, you know, but don't do it out of resentment. You gotta get past that. Do it because you want to and you choose to. And then follow them through to a level of fruition and start journaling them, writing them down in a book and build a list, several pages of accomplishments. Start with small ones, ones you can do in a week, maybe two weeks, and just start building them up one after another after another. It could be, it could be a goal you accomplish in three days. That's great if you get a few of those. Maybe you start with that. I'm going to do it. Um, my decision is to follow through with direct approaching for the next three days. And at the end of the three days, for one person a day, one beautiful woman a day, I'm going to direct approach. And at the end of three days, we'll see how I feel. My goal is to do 25 highs the next three days. And at the end of three days, I'll make another three-day commitment. Or maybe I'll go to a four-day commitment. And I'll follow that through. And then build on it. And what you'll do is at the end, I want you to celebrate the trust you're building for yourself. Because as you get more trust, you'll build more courage, which will start the cycle over again. And it'll continue to grow and grow and grow, getting back to these 1% rules. Okay? So now you've got your sense of purpose. You've got your ability to make a decision. You understand the 1% rule from some of my older videos. You're starting to build this real foundation inside for being a powerful man. If you watch Anthony's videos on Fridays, he's giving you direct exercises to go out and do to be a powerful communicator with women and dating specifically 
And so you should be doing those exercises and you can be doing those exercises in conjunction with the journaling that I talked about here, the decision-making process. You put all this together, you will keep changing. You'll radically change. Matter of fact, we've got so many videos on this channel, you can be going through the material over and over again and learning more and more and taking it in. Cause every time you listen, like I'll listen to stuff over and over because I just take it in deeper and it changes me more. So hopefully you love this video. And I want to hear some of the things you've had to say no to. I want to hear some of the things you're going to say yes to in this video. And I want you to put it down in the comments. And then uh, I'd love it if you came back and commented on some of the successes you get when you, if it's a three day process that you do and you complete it, write it down. If it's a seven day process to, you know, right after you complete it, go in, celebrate it and put it in the comments. That would be amazing to see that. Also make sure to like the video. If you liked it, share it, send it to somebody that needs to hear this and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And remember only the competent really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.